Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. Thank you so much to everyone who sends me beautiful messages and confirmation and hits that like button. It's greatly appreciated. We're here today to do a reading for the new moon happening, coming up, the new moon energy in Aries. 21st, 22nd of March, 2023. So we'll get some energies out for you guys so you can understand to help you grow, move and change through those cycles that we go through. We've got massive activation times, massive portals that have been opening. Um, so there's a lot going on and we have equinox energy. So there is so much going on and that's Hopefully this information helps you and guides you to understand as we move through those waves of energy, therefore those waves of emotion and how we feel. We'll get some cards from the tarot as well. We'll get a message to the collective. So just remember with new moons, it is a great time to be manifesting, planting new seeds, doing your new moon manifestation list of anything you wanted to create that is new. Now remember, we must set, set pure intention. There's a lot of ceremonies and a lot of rituals that people do that go on around these times, particularly around equinox time, which we have. And, you know, just always be mindful uh, what your intentions are and what you're setting if you are into that. The most powerful days is on the new moon or three days after. And just protect yourself around moons, full and new moons and equinoxes because we do have those people who like to manipulate energies and use them for wrong and um, or other things, other reasons. Um, and so, you know, just remember also whether that's happening, you know, or you need some protection. Um, at that time because there's a lot of energies and a, an energy distortion and manipulation that goes on um, in the collective consciousness. So it's, it's, it's good to protect yourself anyway um, in that energy. But with that Aries, um, remember Aries is the ruler of the first house and it's all about you. And Aries is a fire sign. It will give you the passion. It will give you the drive. It will. It's the warrior. It's the survival. It's the uh, take the risk. It's the have the the rush, the push, the energy, the fire, the drive to do it. It is the warrior and survival spirit spiritually. So you might be looking at where you've survived, what you've survived, how you've grown. We do have a couple of other aspects that I wrote down here. We have some Neptune energy. So if you're feeling like, oh, all dreamy, wishy-washy, and then you get a burst of energy, that's the Aries coming in. Um, so there's a little bit of contradiction there in that energy. But we've got also um, Mars, uh, Gemini, sorry, Mars in Gemini. And that's asking you to get super duper clear on what you want, really clear on who you are, where you're going and what you want. So, um, so it's really interesting because A, we've got naught degrees, but that's where the zodiac starts. So see it as a reset, okay? New moon, reset. Good time for planting seeds of intentions, pure intentions. What is pure intentions? Pure intentions are, I, I would like to manifest this, but it's not a specific person, place, or situation. It's just a, um, you know, you're open to the outcome, okay? When you are manipulating energy, you're putting specific people or situations in that place, and that is energy manipulation. So that's the difference if you need to know. Um, we've got nought degrees, which is this, where the zodiac starts, it's a reset. And it's, we get this about every two years, they're, they're approximately two years. We go through this um, Mars return and that is that Aries energy. Mars is the ruler of Aries and it comes in to reset you, okay? Re recalibrate, refire, restart you um, and give you that 
confidence, that, that extra energy to come through. We've also got some portals opening up, which is amazing. Um, and next month we've got a solar eclipse and it is, um, oh, could be 19 degrees. There's Mars in that as well. So it's all pushing us new, 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 reset, reset, um, giving you the fire, the drive, all of that to, um, and then we've got the April, May alignment as well. So massive shifts, guys. So if you're feeling all over the place at times, even if you feel scared, that Aries energy will make you step up and will make you break through. What have we got? <laughs> Aries, oh my God, new moon in Aries. Look at that. First card out. Believe in yourself, courage. That is what the fire energy will give you. Um, could, and could, um, sorry, Capricorn, new direction. So giving you the courage to go a new direction here. Reevaluate your success. See, that's another thing that happens with survival. We reevaluate who we are, what we came through, where we grow, where we've grown. Okay, Aries again, collaboration. Uh, that's been going on a little bit. Um, it's going to boost your confidence to be in teamwork, uh, want to compromise and in relationships, but it's about collaboration. And that's been coming up a bit lately in the past about who you're collaborating with, who you give your time and energy to, who you're building. Libra, harmony, enjoying life, passionate, intense uh, energy here with Scorpio and shine brightly. So we've got transformation here and shining brightly like the star that you are. So there is a lot of fire out on this table. There's also transformation and balancing that with harmony with the Libra there. Yes, self-esteem. So Aries does boost your self-esteem and there's another fire energy out. Courage. Look, Sagittarius on Aries here, giving you the courage to be adventurous, seek outside, um, be, be, go beyond your current horizons there. So new direction. Um, it's a time to celebrate. The, the new is about to hit and I think everybody can feel it and you will be wanting to collaborate with a higher purpose. This is about I, I need meaning in my life, my purpose and my direction now. I think the one thing we've all have learned up until now is basically with everything that's gone on in the last few years, We've learned to appreciate life, our time, our energy, um, and how to utilize that time, how to prioritize the importance of what you're here for, wanting more uh, purpose, meaning in all of our relationships and what we do. And that's really part of the big awakening that, that has happened to most. So we have um, harmony. Um, and you're going to work diligently, which Aries can do. Aries can take the action towards, I want harmony. I want a harmonious home. Now, that could be inwardly. That can be outwardly. And you are ready, and Aries will, will give you the driving force to build that home or foundation for yourself. Home, transformation in the home. Now remember that could be your base chakra, that's inwardly, therefore outwardly, which is our physical world. Um, compassion and indecision. As should I stay or should I go? There's the Neptune dreamy energy and the fire energy, the Leo fire energy saying, I should shine brightly, the confidence, the self-esteem to move forward but you will be in this Gemini conflicting energy, Mars in Gemini. Get really clear on what you want and who you are and what is, what is a um, harmony in, in the home for you, okay? Heroism will come out. Aries does like to be the superhero of the Zodiac. And, you know, Aries is the type of energy that you... They're, they're the managers, they're the bosses, they're who you send off to get or start or, or get everyone together to start a job and manage a job. They're good directors, okay? So they have that confidence. They don't so much think about it and they're not, it's not an energy that stays long term. 
it's kind of a transformational energy in a way, but with more, more confidence and you can do this and take the risk and lead that type of energy. This eclipse that's coming in this um, next month, I'm getting this energy of free will. The free will, serving your higher purpose. Now there is a massive theme here and Aries will be adventurous. They will go and serve the higher purpose of the job, of the home, of humanity, of their purpose, place and situation. So they are the warriors. Fire signs are the warriors. They are the adventurers. They are the pioneers. Okay, and you have that energy coming through your chart in whatever way. So if you've gone through a massive um, <clears throat> bringing down of your foundations and structures within, this is why, or Aries will make you pick up all the bricks and rebuild that foundation. Okay, uh, there's a lot of breaking free. The energy is about breaking free. New blueprint. There we go. New, new, new. What is your new blueprint? Some of you, it's reversed. Some of you, the new blueprint has not activated yet. It may not activate until your birthday. This is preparing you. Some of you have been avoiding this new blueprint, your higher purpose, your higher meaning. Healing. There will be a healing. And I think the Aries energy brings in the fire to make change because that's a three. Alignment. So you've got alignment on this new moon, beautiful. We've got the third eye, you need to trust your intuition. There is activations and visions coming through your third eye, taking you into the heart chakra, back into love. Now love is always connected with our higher self, our soul self, our soul purpose, our soul journey, our soul groups, our soul outside 3d outside conditioning outside what's right what's wrong what's what's supposedly right and wrong uh conditioned through programming this is beyond that this takes you beyond the veil with the third eye seeing through the illusions and into the heart space of you um, transformation and some of you it's in reverse you are still going through a massive transformation and this transformation is occurring it's overflowing energy here and it is going to show you your future or the ancient future so new gifts new talents new activations portals opening downloads timelines jumping timelines moving forward please if you think you're a bit of a magician and you like to play with that stuff, you know, I don't, forewarned, forewarned, just don't do it. Just don't, don't play with that stuff. Just work on you. How you work on you is through heart chakra, heart space and connecting into the light. If it's not of the light, you are playing and dabbling outside um, pure intention pure heart frequency okay if there's um and we, and what i mean by outside the light and the shadow and the dark is greed it is lower frequencies it is control greed authority power sexual energy um lust energy now it doesn't mean you can't have that stuff but when you're driven by that when you're driven with that power with the you know when you can't control things okay um urges uh what are they called addictions um you know uh, struggles power struggles within that control struggles when we go into our shadow there and they want you to transform that out of the heart here out, sorry out of the heart yeah yeah the shadow out of the heart get into the pure purified gracious receptivity what they're kind of saying here and this is a strong um message and i can see it by the picture in in these cards gracious receptivity with this card water emotion there's an absolute download coming and i feel like they're saying you need to surrender to this you need to receive this graciously there is nothing you can do about it this upgrade is happening no outside forces 
interferences, whatever it is, this frequency shift is coming. That creates distortion with your connections and in all relationships and situationships, whatever that is. Friends, family, co-workers, we work, we live, all of it. Um, and this is about bringing you back to nature. There's the reset. What is nature? We have the eagle, the higher up. We have all the animals, all the nature. Mother nature, Gaia, the animals. Animals come from, <coughs> excuse me, intuitive instinct. They are the only creatures on earth that, that move and grow and, and evolve, live, survive through the natural cycles of nature. It'd be great if we could do that. But we don't. We've been humanized, programmed. Okay. Vulnerability is there, the portal keeper. So you're going to feel this shift into the higher heart chakra. Higher heart chakra card is all about your purpose. Star seed elemental, what you're here for. So there is going to be more separation between the 5D and the 3D. It's like you're either on, I want to live on a 3D planet or you want to live in a higher purpose, higher spirituality, meaning, vibration, frequency, all of the above. And we can't mix the two now. You're either that energy or you're that energy. That energy drains that energy and that energy doesn't understand that energy. Um, and that's the, that great separation that we've talked about. Um, coming in for a while now and it's it's it is getting more and more and more if you are unwell frequency changes um, if you're stuck if you're lacking if there's abundance try and just keep doing your cleaning and cleansing work and Aries will also in a healing energy really take you deep if you want to so if you're doing healing or you're going to healing um, it will take you, um, the fire energy you can burn away, but it can take you very deep. It's very forthright. It's very truth-driven. Um, but it, it gives you that extra courage where you didn't want to go before. Um, even in healing, uh, it will be able to take you. So amazing so the tarot what's popping out here oh this is good let's get a tarot message for the collective nine of cups is an offer uh generally love or it could be an, an offer of um it can be an our apology card but it could be you're just ready to move towards genuine things make genuine offers and of course roles can be reversed this could be what's coming into you a genuine offer or, or a heartfelt offer or something like that it is reaching out it is emotional Whew. judgment fated and victory um, I'm going to put those the other way, this, the six of wands, then the judgment. Someone's coming in confident, there's the confidence, if you can't, if that's Aries confidence right there, Aries confidence, moving forward, okay, um, and the judgment card there is all about a message, a download or a fated message or download or situation, but it's also about to me, it can be epiphany and revelation too. It can be, you know, the universe has called this or told you or shown you. Collaboration. Somebody wants to collaborate. So from the new moon forward, they are planning to move forward confidently. They have the confidence to put things in place. They've made a judgment call or they've had their epiphanies or their awakenings from the higher up and they're ready to collaborate with who, what, where, when, how. Okay? There is a hanged man energy here, and the hanged man energy is about changing your perspective, changing how you look at things or see things. You could be seeing them the wrong way or vice versa, um, but it could be also be, they have been collaborating. This has been coming out a lot. 
about people who keep them stuck. This could be someone who is married, this could be someone who is stuck in a job financially, but they feel they are stuck or it's out of their hands. And all of a sudden they've got confidence, they've realized it's not. So there is something going on here. Yeah, they're really, some people are gonna go into this hanged man thinking um, and staying put. Stay, oh, I know what the message is. Some, okay, some of you, some of the collective, I always get a few groups, few messages. Some of the collective stayed put. Stayed put, didn't look outside, um, couldn't look at um, uh, one track minded, only saw something the one way, stayed put for security and stability. So we call that the wrong reasons. They were a bit stubborn, hanging on to what they got, not willing to change, not willing to grow, not willing to see other people's sides of the stories. They were collaborating with those people or vice versa or could have been people who were telling them, yes, yes, yes. Just because someone agrees with you doesn't mean it's the, it's the right message for you, okay? Those people may have had an agenda with you or they could be just agreeing with you to, to make you, you know, to befriend you or whatever. Um, now all this information's coming at you or this has kind of changed and now you feel you have to stand up and defend yourself, which was the inevitable of what you avoided last time. And this is the Aries energy coming in, making you stand back up, get your confidence, be stubborn, stand up for yourself or, or what's coming at you, all those changes. And the Ten of Swords shows me closing out a cycle, meaning you've learned all you needed to learn. So two things, you or the situation, other person, place, situation could have kept you there because you needed to learn more lessons or they did. Or somebody here decided to listen to others but they were page energy um so it was all about who boosts my ego a good example a great example would be um the energy of who who fluffed my ego who told me what i wanted to hear you know who made me um this confident sort of cocky um, energy <laughs> kept you stuck though kept you seeing things the wrong way and that can be as simple as following someone else's belief system following the rule of uh, the group the friends the family you know and it was they were just being stubborn in their growth and the spirit taught them a lesson Okay, now I'm, you know, male or female, I'm not really going there. This offer is coming towards an empress, male or female, loving, caring, nurturing, someone who builds something, who's stable, who, who um, they want to build with, they want to grow with, they want to start a new cycle. Um, let's see if they can. Coming in confidently, they want to message you or they're trying to send you messages, whether that's telepathic messages, physical messages. <laughs> um, yeah, they were blinded. They didn't want to see. So my message was kind of right. And please put it in the context because the context could be a little different for every individual. But you'll kind of get the gist of the energy of the message from spirit. Um, see, they, they were self-restricted. Self-restriction is that they, they made choices or they weren't confident enough or they weren't clear enough or they just thought they couldn't do it when you can it was their, their thinking, what they refused not to look at and see. It can be someone who wasn't ready. Um, yeah, that two of cups. They're either wanting to collaborate, move towards this new empress energy, male or female, confident message, fated judgment, something they didn't want to see. They do want to collaborate with this person. It is a higher divine purpose, partnership, union, whatever. Um, the hanged man on the path. Two things I get there. Two messages is they didn't want to see it. They wouldn't, didn't want to agree. They didn't want to go on that path for some reason. It is the divine path. You can't deny that. 
um, they've realized it obviously, or maybe got through their fears. The second message is spirit saying you have no choice. You have a higher purpose, you have a higher path. So you can stand here with this blindfold on, or they can, but you have a higher purpose and a higher path now. The hand of the divine is stepping in, negative or positive. Um, moving forward here, confidence, clarity, decisions made, ready to expand where you were not before, where you were stubborn, hanging in there for whatever reasons, vice versa. Um, and now you're really thinking about which a new direction. But it looks like you've got a bit of a battle or you have to stand up for yourself or you will have things coming at you. But this person has that Aries energy that they're ready to fight and stand up. Um, very fast, left field out of nowhere. This is communication and incredibly fast action. Ten of Swords closing out. So that's where I'll stick with this. What are you closing out? And what comes in really fast? We do have the Four of Swords. That can be about healing or the endings. There's definitely an ending here. Now, death can be physical death. It could be spiritual death. It could be healing. It could be just the end of a cycle, okay? So the death of something. Um, it, it's a good, it's, to me, it's the death of a way of thinking a death of a way of um, perceiving or having information or the epiphany or revelation that ends things for you and you can now plan to move forward. So it could be, let's say you were in uh, uh, trapped in jobs, legalities, uh, court, uh, legal, family law, it could be anything, uh, trapped financially. It's like now you have you know where you're heading you're not moving there but you've got you're moving there there's a spiritual calling you have the idea the information or whatever it is was needed will be provided you're not moving here but you know you're about to go on a spiritual journey this is someone that says to me out of nowhere oh my god ten of swords closing a cycle out of nowhere a healing and ending so something could just end in them spiritually what they want they might change their direction their pull this is an intuitive pull something's missing it's when you're in an energy where something's not right i've got all of this what why doesn't it feel right what what's why am i being pulled that there's more there's more to this journey spirit said that's correct the ace of swords is new beginning set up by spirit it is information that you needed to receive or will receive that sets up a new beginning, negative or positive. And a new beginning on here, and we call this the sort of truth card for what I just said. If you pull the ace of cup, reevaluation. Why? They're not telling me the reevaluation. Something about bittersweet, something about regret. But they're only focused on what could go wrong. They're not seeing the other two cups behind them. What are they regretting? What is the regret and the reevaluation? Oh, fears and blockages. Can't make a decision or indecision or an imbalance, or they're looking at an imbalance where maybe they blocked their own destiny. They did an imbalance in the Ten of Cups. They've decided they're moving forward. They get it. Ah, <laughs> they get it. Strength, courage death and rebirth it could be a big spiritual lesson here that's coming awakening epiphany they get it they've grown they learnt the lesson they're moving on it was fear based it was restriction based it could have been arrogance stubbornness i don't know we could make a whole list of things there it could have been li listening to programming but they started to realize that something he was very out of balance or very unfair or very interfered with, or one way, or um, one-sided, sorry, one-sided. And, and they've had that epiphany and that wake up, and, and maybe that was the lesson. And you can place that in, in many situations, because we like to teach you the lesson here so that you go, oh, and understand it, and then you can move on from it. <coughs> The Queen of Cups here is about love, spiritual connection, and we've got the King of Pentacles. 
uh, the Qu Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> we have a Queen of Cups who is a Queen of Wands. That's the warrior, warrioress, um, the uh, very strong person who is spiritually driven, spiritually aligned, follows, like takes lead, takes forward action, stands up for themselves, defends, defends others, all of that. But they're very spiritual. They're very loving and caring here. And this King of Pentacles understands that this is his Ten of Pentacles. He's happily ever after something I can build a lifetime in. Now, if that's not a person, that could be um, going on and taking action in a spiritual calling, a spiritual want, need, desire, a career, a place to live, a dream, a gift, a talent. Um, you might have always wanted to move from the city and live on a farm and, and be a farmer. Um, it's something I can grow a lifetime in and a legacy. Yep, moving on, Ten of Wands, releasing burden, becoming single, moving forward from the illusion and ready to give. And, and why? Because this has been illuminated and this is the su successful path and the higher divine has stepped in here. This is a judgment or an order. If some of you are waiting to break free, oh, look at this, I can't make this up. If some of you, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I've got to say it and then I'm gonna wrap it up. This is the sun card, the receiving and the judgment card, the higher up. Now, if that was a court issue, that court issue on the sun card will be sorted, cleared, set you free, organize, reset, see? The judge is coming in or the higher up, the divine to reset two major arcanas here, reset on the sun card, on the receiving card, reset you from the devil who pulled the wool over your eyes, that's fated wheel of change that can't be stopped, the toxic, the codependent, the lower shadow, whatever, whoever that is within you or whatever, Someone, whoever was deceitful, deceptive, pulling the wool over your eyes, taking, stealing on whatever level. Energetically, financially, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. These people or this person, the fated wheel of change is coming in. And we have the sun card, the higher up or the judge or the reset cycle, the universe about to expose all. And where you couldn't move on, couldn't move forward, you realise these people have their backs turned to you. Celebration. You could have been in a bit of fantasy world or now you're looking at where to go, where do I go, take the leap of faith. There's the Aries energy, the full card taking the leap of faith. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the King of Wands, who's the match to the Queen of Wands. That's a divine match. Uh, the Warrior. Stepping into the future, the temperance, the next evolution, ready to do it and build strong foundations. And that's about security, stability, what's my home, loving, caring and nurturing energy. And I am now manifesting this right now. So there's your confirmation of your energy or the person, place or situation. I actually feel the collective will all agree that that is where and how they feel. They want to just move towards their higher timeline, their higher purpose, their higher partnership, their, um, their, their mission here and align me and get me into this stability and security. Whatever came in, whatever interfered, in the fated wheel of, of change or what was fated to happen, there is going to be a big, big exposure of this, okay? And, and, and they will be, how far have I got to go? They will be held accountable. How do I know? How do I know that? They will be held accountable because this is the Ace of Cups, the Hand of the Divine is about to deliver and the High Priestess. So the higher up have been watching. This is karma, Akashic records, the holder of timelines, destiny. And it's so sad that we live in a world where people A, think they can interfere with people's destinies and they take those measures to interfere with people's destinies um, because they can do it only, oh, only temporarily, only temporarily. It will work for a while, it will. 
and then the energy will reset and balance and that's when the karma comes. Um, that's why we always ask you to be in the light of pure intention, okay? Um, interference of higher divine natural cycles of evolution and people's destinies and all this modern day whatever where people have used energies to manipulate, catfish, take destinies, people, places, situations, jobs, careers for the wrong reasons that, that were written by you, by the divine, by higher guides, angels, archangels to put you out in the cold, interfere so that you couldn't get it, have it. Or just be aware that the, well, we're telling you a bit about spiritual law here. <sighs> and sending those energies and distorting the frequencies to another individual's divine guided path, that's, that's basically what you're doing. Yeah, naughty interference, gossip, attacks, false information, white lies, manipulating information. Yeah. King of Swords, seeing through it. Some of you are about to get a tower. The tower is from the divine. It's going to make you rethink where you were. Yeah, you are. You're definitely going to be illuminated. Ten of ten of nine, putting the past behind you. The wounded warrior, learning all the lessons, being there. Um, you could be a bit wounded. Might need some healing and recovering time. But there's the Ten of Wands as well, closing out, closing out. There it is, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, remember, these are all energies to help you understand, grow, expand, clarify, clear your energy, get in alignment and reset with that new moon. Okay, take care. Thank you so much. Bye.